This is a uh, shore durometer uh, type A tester. Uh, they, they go through D, just so you know. This is used for uh, doing polymers. And it's a hand tester. Let me show you how it works. It comes in a nice carrying case, because the idea is you can take this with you. The uh, calibration block, as you can see, is set to uh, 60. And what you have is this needle that sits. And then you operate this by holding your hand down, pressing firmly, and then taking the reading. You can see that's right at 60. So we're all calibrated. And that just stores right here in the carrying case. So when we go to measure, say, this nice piece of neoprene, we set it down, we press. And I can see that that has a shore durometer reading of about 80. And you let go. This piece of uh, butyl claims to be about 60. And we can see that's about where it is. So the shore durometer is one way to measure uh, the polymers. The Rockwell does have some capability, but it has to be pretty hard um, polymers to do it. These are too soft to measure on the Rockwell test. So this durometer is nice because it allows us to measure polymer hardness. Two on the bark hole tester. Uh, ceramics are a tough thing to measure because you always worry about putting too much uh, pinpoint force on them and breaking them. But there are hardness testers for ceramics and this is one, it's called a bark hole tester. This is a portable one. It has a needle here that I'm not going to stick my finger in because it's sharp and then a mounting stand that comes out so you can make it a little easier to carry this. But this works by setting on your ceramic, in our case the uh, tabletop, and then simply applying a nice even weight with your body. And you can see it reads there at about 81. Isn't that nice? So this has a hardness of bark coal 81. And even though this has some age to it, they still make these. And notice I can zero by just turning this dial a little bit, I can zero it out and you know, taking out the set screw. And uh, you, can, you can take uh, hardness testing of ceramics with this. So now you've seen all three, metal, polymers, and ceramics.